package is out guys thankfully we were able to make it fit we had to kind of get it really snug in there and taped up the box a little bit better just so that it can end up ultimately fitting uh and then we just taped it up you know so it's on you know it's on the way to davy out in florida where he's gonna do the rewiring for the harness and the the, the engine harness and the charge harness again thank you so much to my buddy Davey over in Florida for making this possible. Fucking these masks, bro. Look what they do to the beard. Just chop into it. What a disaster. Anyways, on to the next thing. Guys, okay, uh, so I just got a notification. I think the manifold is here. Let's go take a look. Oh, the door's locked. That means test pipe, no gasket, yes, hardware, yes, V van, yes, check by. Let's do this, let's open it up. Mate, so we got here a 1320 sports header sidewinder for my turbo. Hey, this, or this reminds me of Toy Story. Toy Story? When, he gets, the the box, the box. Yeah, when yeah. he gets out the box? Yeah, when he gets out the box. He's like, howdy there. Sheesh. Man, this is heavy. Damn. God damn. The f that? Oh, don't tell me. It's a muffler. It's a muffler. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I don't even know, dude. It's at least in the nature of where, of like the category of part that this is. This oh, is for the turbo. This is, sick. this is for the choo choo. This is for the. Do -do -do -do. Hey, for the train tracks. For the train tracks. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's nice. Look at that right there. The 1320. Nice. Branding right there. That's real nice. Oh, shit. This is where we're going to mount the turbo. This goes right up against the back. The exhaust side of the head on the car on the engine this is where the turbo is going to mount up we got our waist wastegate mount right here it's going to be beautiful it's got four pipes <laughs> <laughs> i don't know you can cut it. what's up guys welcome back to another episode or another clip on this series for the dc5 turbo build we are on day three i believe of working on this car or four. I'm not sure if I recorded prior to this, but we've already actually managed to mock up the Sidewinder manifold, the turbo manifold, and the turbo snail itself, just to see how it kind of sits in the engine bay. We were able to uh, disconnect some of those fuel lines and have to figure out how I'm gonna rerun them or whatever so that they don't get too close to the manifold because it's gonna get extremely hot. But uh, today, I've got a few little other things that I want to do with the RSX. I have parts that I bought maybe four or five years ago that I never got around to installing. And some of those are like the tie rod ends, the end links on the sway bars, wheel bearings for the rear. I'm not sure what other parts I have, but all those things I've been kind of delaying and putting aside for quite some time. So I think it's about time that we go on and install those. I have maybe about three hours or so. A free time today to go install them and i'm gonna go ahead and do that today anyways we're heading out there now to work on the car and see how much we can get done don't you guys just love getting packages from the mail and the feeling like christmas well right now i feel like santa claus delivering presents to myself i don't know if you guys can see there's big boxes of mishimoto parts back there Ugh, doesn't show it that well on the camera yeah, they're in my view, but they look fucking great. Mishimoto. It's a little update. Um, yesterday or the other day while working on the RSX, I was trying to get the 
uh, charge harness taken apart so I can send it out to the DB in Florida and in that process of pulling out the plugs on the knock sensor I pulled that clip and unfortunately it broke off so I had to get another knock sensor these are $75 like what the f it's expensive that little shit to open doors hooks everywhere it's annoying anyways so right right here in front of the engine where the engine starter is at the thermostat AC pump all this is so gunky and dirty I'm gonna give it a nice cleaning hopefully I can bring it back to life before changing that sensor and changing the thermostat over here that sensor there this is the starter thankfully it's still up and running good I'm missing a bolt right here I'm gonna have to figure that out see what size that is but yeah it's good to sprain it down with some purple power so here we are actually done scrubbing down a lot of the part of the engine bay we scrubbed some of the radiator support area it's really gunky the inside of the engine bay area also very clean now after scrubbing it um, that will make some room to bring in some of the other good stuff like the uh, <clears throat> Mishimoto radiator that we have set over off to the side over there and uh, got some Mishimoto fans as well that we need to assemble and put together onto the Mishimoto radiator so that we can get the big, a big step of the cooling system portion done and set. So those are the fans there. Uh, there are some other stuff here inside the box. Looks like there's some uh, double sided 3M foam and uh, some other goodies in here. I think it's, uh, yeah, so there's an air freshener, some type of book, booklet, pamphlet type looking thing, but pretty much good. plug ready to go into your uh, OEM harness. I just gotta bolt this up to the radiator. brackets for, for piping and such. That's it for today. We'll come back at it Monday.